Hi people, here I have a guide for iPhone 4 users to downgrade iOS 7 to iOS 6.2 and below. So here I have the guide, you will need red snow and of course here is the red snow and of course your restore files IPSW the version you want, uh, I don't know, uh, on Red Snow servers and Cydia servers they are available blobs for 6.2 and below, um, I don't know for any other blobs um, because on the blobs SH, SH, I, I think are not available on the server, if you have your local blobs you can use them, go to the Red Snow, open Red Snow and go to the extras go to the even more uh, before go to the even more uh, go to the SHSH and the query CDS server about all available blobs for the device after this um, you will see which blobs are available for your device if you have local blobs you can use them if you don't have you can query or fetch blobs from the internet um, so let's go back to the even more to the restore and you will choose your IPSW to be restored here. Of course, this is this file here. You will find your fi you will find this one uh, on IPSW to be restored. You will press this one, and it will go to find your IPSW. So after that, you will be able to use these two options: local blobs for restore or remote blobs for restore. Remote blobs you will get from the internet so if you don't have saved your local blobs for older versions you will use the remote after using that automatically update will start uh, red snow will ask you for some um, processes so you will enter yes so i have to recommend you that you're doing it on your own risk and if you don't know how to use it please uh, don't go on the other step the other step is the update for your uh, is this downgrade for your iPhone 4 excuse me and you will downgrade your device and of course maybe some devices are gonna uh, stuck in the <coughs> boot loop on the, with the iTunes logo and the, you know white cable on the screen so after that after stuck in that uh, boot loop you will go to the recovery fix get out of the recovery mode loop cause back restore error you will go to the recovery fix, uh, after recovery fix it will ask you to put your device in the defu mode and of course before update you will be asked to put your device in the defu mode so you know that it's very uh, <coughs> it's not uh, so easy process so you please do it at your own risk and this is only for iPhone 4 so listen to me this is only for iPhone 4 I didn't test on any other device like iPad iPad 2 or iPhone 4s, iPhone 5. This is I tested only. I tested this one only at the iPhone 4. So please, iPhone 4 users, use this one. And if you know how to do this, you will not make mistake. And after downgrading, I I'm very satisfied with my new software.